Hello and welcome to the Tuesday Checklist, where we find whatever excuse we can to talk about our favourite games. Thanks to the profile stats listed on PS5, we're looking at the games we've all put the highest number of hours into, those amazing adventures and escapades that have given us the most entertainment. It's fun, and we'd love to see you play along and let us know what your most played games are in the comments. But for this video, Ash is up first, talking about a game she played alone, and she wouldn't have it any other way. Right, so the PS4 game I've played for the longest time is not a long time by anyone else's standard. I love like I love a single player narrative, I love like a, a lone experience, but that doesn't lend itself to playing again and again and again for hours and hours and hours, which I know I'm gonna be proven wrong by by the rest of you as this goes on. But for me, on PS4, you know, when I was spending my time wisely, I spent 82 hours on Horizon Zero Dawn, which was a wonderful experience. I loved it very much. I know it's not, it's, it's rookie numbers. It is rookie numbers, but I had a great time with it. Um, and yeah, Aloy is wonderful. Shooting big mechanical beasts is wonderful. I spent so long in the frozen wilds just hunting down all of the extra hard beasts and doing the challenges. I think that's where most of my hours went, just to be honest, was just doing the challenges over and over again. It's one of the my early platinums as well in my list that I was very proud of getting and just ran around the map for ages afterwards being like, yeah, yeah, just to myself. I haven't even New Game Plused it actually. If I New Game Plused it, there'd be loads more hours in there, but for now, it's 82. I think it's that's Aloy and me. Almost like the perfect amount of hours to spend on Horizon Zero Dawn, isn't it? Like, that's more hours than it takes to finish the game. And enough to just be able to slowly go around enjoying it. Yeah. It was a good. It was good. It was lovely. It was wholesome. And uh, I, I, I wish it was more hours. I wish it was more. I wish you it know was, what? but... You know, because they've got this function now, that this is why we're doing this whole video, where you can like see how many hours you've put on each game. But what I would like to see, and Rob's comment just made me think about it, was I would like to see a breakdown of that, which goes even further. It's like, hey, here's your main story time. What I'd really like to see is, especially like for some of the stuff I've done, like this is your retry time when you were doing like a challenge. I remember there was like one or two hunting challenges on Horizon. I must have just done... I don't know, like a quarter of my game time is just, I will make the logs work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like, yeah, I'd like to see that. Well, how, yeah, how, many time was, how much time was in combat and that kind of thing. I think you're right. Like if you're not playing an online, if you're, because tons of people are just not into online games. And if you're not into online games, 80 hours on one game. Rob was saying that's the perfect amount to, to do it. I remember when games were six hours long. That's how old I am. <laughs> it's a respectable <laughs> amount of time, I think. 80 hours on a big open world single player story adventure that's what that, I like doing I don't like oh. being with other people it'd be like online play just, just uh, it gets under my skin just talking to other people no sit on my own play Horizon be Aloy have a nice time on my own 80 hours of solitude <laughs> is what that game was for me <laughs> So the game that I've put the most hours into on PS4, uh, my total was 219 hours. So it's quite a bit from uh, quite a bit of a jump from yours, Ash. But I, yeah. I, have, I, I have a feeling it's not as much as what's to come. I don't know why. But my game is Bloodborne. That is the game somehow. Ah. Actually, looking back on it, I've put. Wow. I know exactly where it's gone. Because <laughs> so this was my first Soulsborne game anyway, so I was very bad at it at the beginning. So I probably, you know, spent a lot of time dying, redoing things, getting cross, dying, and doing that cycle and th the whole time. But when I first played it, so I was playing it by myself, um, and that alone would probably be like, mm, maybe it took me like 50 hours maybe to do by myself or something. But on my first like playthrough with it I was also playing with a friend of mine who also got Bloodborne at the same time I did but he didn't really like playing it by himself so much he much Barty. rather Barty everyone knows it's Barty come on <laughs> it's not it's my friend Cooper my Cooper? friend Cooper yeah Cooper I you going to say Sly, Sly then Sly, Sly Cooper I know I call him Cooper and I'm always just like in my heart I'm just like Sly Cooper but no, it was my mate Cooper, and um, he preferred playing games online, so he was always like, oh, let's explore like Bloodborne together. So I was playing it on my file, and then I'd also play it, as in I would then come to his world. So then I was getting more time from doing it in that section. And then I recently replayed it on New Game Plus, because then my friend Bart decided, here, here he comes. Bart, hey. then, <laughs> then my friend The famous Bart. Bart. <laughs> 
he then decided that he was going to play it after I recommended it to him because he was like, oh, I want to play a game. And whenever anyone says I want to play a game on PS4, I'm just like Bloodborne. Um, so I told him to play it and he was like, oh, um, maybe, like he heard that you could do it online. So then he wanted to play it with me as well. But the mechanic with Bloodborne is that if you want to play the game together, you both have to kind of be at the same location um mm. and then you can defeat the boss and then once you've defeated the boss only then can you summon someone again in a specific area or at least something that's a very brief description of it from me so we were playing it together i would kill a boss for him just having fun and then he would come to my game on new game plus and then it was just great to see him like as a level let's say 30 hunter going up against a new game plus villain when I was on level 80 or something at that point or there were sometimes moments where I'd just be like it's fine you carry on playing I'll catch up and then I'll do the boss myself and then catch up with him so the first my first playthrough I did completely by myself and then it's just I've just coincidentally had friends be like hey you like Bloodborne I like playing games with friends so why don't you come over to my world so I'll be ringing my little small resonant bell while they're ringing the beckoning bell and then I, I, we got the system going. So I've, uh, all in all, I've probably now gone through Bloodborne, let's just say like four times. Myself on my first campaign, which was just me playing it alone, um, helping my friend Cooper play it. Then I played it on New Game Plus, and I also played the game with my mate Bart. But yeah, Bloodborne, most hours I've put into the game and absolutely love it, and I'm still putting hours into it as we speak. Okay, so the PS4 game that I have spent the most hours playing um surprised me because it's a game that until i saw it on this list i had completely forgotten about and i spent 322 hours playing this game and that game is final fantasy 14 oh the Realm wow. reborn the mmorpg um and it was like it gave me a feeling like you know when you you find i don't know a photo album or, or something that you haven't seen for ages and it just like ignites a bunch of memories that you haven't thought about just for years it was like that i was like oh yes final fantasy 14 and it's it's such a long time ago that i played this that i um helpfully i can't really remember any specifics about the game at all other than the fact <laughs> i just played it all the time for about a year um but what an amazing game it was as well like it's an MMORPG, but it also caters for um, sort of Final Fantasy fans like me who enjoy that single player adventure still. So it has like a really good campaign. Like the story in Final Fantasy XIV is comparable to, if not even more epic than like the stories in some of the um, mainline single player Final Fantasy games. It's really, really good. It's intimidatingly massive. Um, I didn't even get onto the expansions either. I think I, I was stopped say, playing. Don't they keep on adding when, more and more. They brought. To it. They started bringing out the first expansions, um, and I think I, I just about finished the the bog standard campaign. That took me maybe fifty or sixty hours to finish that, and I was just doing a bunch of um, fates. They're called sort of like uh, events that pop up in the game, and a bunch of players can come in and and fight them. Um, Holly took me under her wing and helped me through a few. Her of red them. wing, yeah. Hey. Her red wing, yeah. Hey. Um, that, that was the name of I, her clan. The, what a I, great. Plan. I I Sorry. dare not guess how many hours uh, Holly has put into Final Fantasy XIV because it's going to be a lot more than I had. She was like, she got past the game. She was property managing in the game. She <laughs> bought her own house. She had like, you know, for Holly playing Final Fantasy XIV was going in and, and decorating it, and you know, it's basically Stardew Valley for holly but with <laughs> malbros um but it's such an incredible game and it has it, it it excites me that the team that's made final fantasy 14 is making final fantasy 16 because not only did they make a great mmo rpg but they they made a really engrossing single player story as well um so to have all of that all of that talent making the next single player Final Fantasy. I've found a way to talk about Final Fantasy 16 is what I've done here. Um, and I'm incredibly excited to see what they do with that. Um, but yeah, for about a year, I did, I played nothing pretty much other than Final Fantasy 14. And what a why great did, time it was. Why did you stop? Bro? Um, I don't know. 
Probably because one of the other games on, on my list of I looked through, uh, I got 246 hours on The Witcher 3. I think The oh. Witcher 3 came along. That's Ooh. what happened. Wow. Um, so, yeah. I thought that was going to be my, my most played. But it wasn't. That's nuts. That's more than I've got on The Witcher. Yeah, I mean, I've so looked at my go. Witcher numbers. Wow. I'm going to refer to my list I've written down. I had some, I just thought some interesting facts. Um, well, it's more interesting now. I've had 163 hours on The Witcher 3, Rob. Um, oh, is that like 100 less than you? Um, so you are, Nearly. You've like, you got, you got to play it while changing some nappies. That's the key. You, you're that's a bigger you fan. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what it means. Other games I did are more than 100 hours. Neo, which I have fond memories of just... That, most of that's just spamming at the blacksmith to get the platinum. Uh, Sekiro, which was really hard. Um, Dying Light, 99 hours. That made me want to go back and just do another like half an hour or whatever it would be to tick that over. And I'm slightly embarrassed by Fall Guys. 52 hours of Fall Guys. That's wow. a lot of that's a lot of falling. Uh, but my number one, it wasn't really a surprise to me. Destiny, and compared to the people on the internet who play a lot of any one single game, all of these are rookie numbers. All of these, but 651 hours for the original. Oh. Destiny. Wow. That's I, that, a lot Des of hours. Destiny That's a lot was of my Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> Destiny was my number two, Nath. I had 287 hours on Destiny. Wow. And and most, would... most of them were in your fire team, I think. And I, I mean, is it because any game, I think, where you... Oh, we talked about the difference between single player and like something that's ongoing, like Final Fantasy, but once you get into... once I think Destiny had the advantage of everyone we knew was playing it at the time, back yeah. in, what was it, 2014? Yeah. Um, and Except meant, Dave. Except for Dave, I know, incredibly, and he never really got into it. Um, and it's because it, it meant that any night, any time I had like a, hot, a spare hour or two in the evening, I could just jump on and there'll be someone to play with. And it also meant that I'd play at lunchtime, so I'd just like do a bit of Crucible. Um, and I then got into the grind side of it, and that's obviously like a heap more hours, and I would, for no reason at all, if I was just listening to a podcast or whatever, sometimes I would just go and just go and get some relic iron from Mars. You know, just I'll just spend a bit of time and just do this loop here. Um, and I think it was probably testament to the time and place, like how much time I had in my life at that moment to play Destiny. I'd spent loads of time playing it multiplayer. Um, really, really got into the systems, and I think the Destiny did do something. Like it was probably imperfect, I think. Um, it's fair to say now, but it did a bunch of stuff which I couldn't have even imagined shooters doing just one generation before. Like in P, and I know it was on PS3, but like for the for the majority of PlayStation 3 shooters were well. First of all, they were like single player campaigns, and then mostly Modern Warfare turned them into an online phenomenon, like with XP and um, the driving force of like an online scene. But then like. Playing in different, you know, in a fight, like in a four in a crucible, which is what I was used to doing, cooperatively as a three in a fire team, doing different challenges. Me and you, Rob, had some great times with various friends over the years, just like almost like just cheesing different, almost semi impossible weekly challenges. I do remember it. I remember you and I just under a metal platform. <laughs> I think it's me and someone else under the metal platform, and you were the only one who had the sniper rifle capable of being the boss, and you would had peek out. I had regenerating ammo on my sniper it, yeah. rifle, so we and just we stayed just under hid. There. We just hid until you had chipped away at his health enough that he was dead, and we Glorious all glorious victory. We were all able to proclaim that we'd completed the nightfall. It and then we got what did we get? We got some space materials that we yeah. have long forgotten about. That's but right. The, and I think the most impressive thing was the raid. I think um, six, um, like oh, six great. people going into the raid and just the vault of glass. Nothing, yeah. nothing beats that. So no, and, the first the, time doing that was amazing. The coordination needed for um, pulling together the six of you and doing different things and the, just the way lateral thinking involved in it. Um, and I'm not sure that it was like a seamless experience, but I thought that the, the first time I landed on the moon, I was just blown away by the art design. The yeah. kind of the simple, the really foundational kind of basics of the fiction, like one time mankind got really good at stuff and now we're sort of rubbish, but can we get back there? Um, and then there was confusing bits about whether you were dead or not, and I didn't really pay attention to that. When I landed on the moon, and you see that all the sort of recognisable 20th century technology everywhere, like it's an incredible like space to play in. And when it was doing things like it was doing with the with the raid and the other bits of multiplayer, that's why I spent 650 hours on it. It, it was, was great. great. It was so exciting, such an exciting time. 
I, I'm just, I, I live in Old Yarnham. That's where I've lived for, <laughs> for seven years now. And we should do a video of us co-oping you through the rest of Bloodborne. Or we'll just do a video series of, of my hunter, just his daily routine in, in Old Yarnham. <laughs> Wake Making up, some tea. kill these same four or five enemies every time. Listen to the machine gun. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, what, that's what stopped me. The machine gun is where I stopped. Where I just, I'm not going down that big area with a machine gun firing at me all the time. Just not going to do it. <laughs> We regret to inform you that Rob's hunter no longer lives in Old Yarnum, as we helped him move to a new location last week. Anyway, do you have more hours than us in a certain game? Let us know in the comments! Please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and hit that notification bell so that you're always up to date with everything from the world of PlayStation. Thank you for watching! PlayStation.